Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the 981 short shifter kit onto my 981 here. And this process is fairly simple, so let's go ahead and tackle it. The first step here is to take these sized pieces off. So to do that, you simply pull it off on the side like this and follow around the corner, as you can see, and it comes off right here. And you do the same on this side. You put that on the side here. You also do the same here. Okay. Next, what we have to do is simply remove the shifter. Now you can use your finger to kind of like pull this, but I like to use tools if you I can avoid, you know, messy things up. You can take one of these and simply put here. It's going to go directly inside the trim and then you lift it with that or not. There you go. You lift it like that. Pretty, pretty simple. And it comes off. Now that it's off, all you do is simply twist this to the right. And once it's twisted, you simply leave the whole thing up and it will come off. Now we have to remove this nice, beautiful silver trim right here. So to do that, you open your armrest and then you just start taking it out from the top here. There you go. I just have to find the edge and then keep pulling gently. There you go. Make sure everything goes in place. Put it on the side. Next, what you do is remove this trim right here. Simply lift it and that's it. That comes off. You put it on the side. You can also remove this right here, simply lift it. Next, you have to remove the center stack. You can actually close the armrest for now and you simply lift it from the corner here. This one is not going to come off. There you go. Should come up on this. All right. And make sure that you also unplug it here and put it on the side. The next step is simply to remove this little holder here. To do that, you simply push it forward and that will also come off. Now, you have a few screws that you have to remove. One, two, three right here and one, two, three right here on that side. And those are T25. Once you remove that, there's normally four bolts here that's holding the AC and the radio. So, but first, before you actually remove those, you have to remove these little tabs that are securing here. There's one here and then also one on this end. They look kind of alike, but because I don't want to mess them up, I'm going to put one on this end and one right here, just so that I know which one go left and which one go right. Now you are exposed here with the four screws. These are still T25, so you go ahead and remove those. Now you have, that you have removed these four, you can go ahead and slide the radio out. Just like this, and then you can just simply place it to the side, just like this one. What we want to do next is just remove the AC control. Then we're going to put back the radio because the radio is really going to um, be on the way of what we want to do after we remove the AC control. To remove the AC control, you simply pull it up and it should come off. There you go. So you use the tab here on the corner to kind of like push it up. Then you go ahead and unplug all the cables. Okay, we put this on the side. And what we want to do next is, put, is to put back the radio in because you don't want to stress these cables that are holding the radio. So you just leave it like that. You don't have to push it all the way through. What we have to do next is simply remove this trim right here. To do that, you since we already removed the screws, you simply lift it. I have to open this again for it to come off. 
and after you lift it on the top here it's a little tricky to remove so all you have to do is pull it up here and it should come out okay so to remove it literally what you have to do is this clip right here you have to take a tool like this put it on the side here and there's a little this thing right here that you have to put on the side so that you can release this clip once you release that clip it comes out pretty simple you put it on the safe side now what you have is literally your shifter which is right here and you just have to remove one two three four t25 bolt again but before you do that i want to take a picture of the way the shifter is set up here so that i mount it exactly the amount the new shifter exactly the way this one is this is how the shifter is mounted you see you have these two area right here that are really connected and this is pretty much what's going to the back of the car and this is the actual shifter itself so this is the little tab that i mentioned that you have to pull this on the left side so that you can release the clip that is in here first you have to make sure that you are in in neutral i usually park in first so once you put the car in neutral it kind of release everything now what we have to do is pretty much remove one two three four uh, screws t25 again so that we can securely remove the shifter then i will show you what to do with these rods that are right here now that we have all the screws removed you have to remove this shifter from the linkage to do that you simply push it to the front like that and then twist it it's going to reveal it and you do the same thing here you push it and then twist it and it's going to reveal it well you have to push it and hold on let me do it with my other hand okay once it's like this that means you remove it now you can simply slide them out of the groove and then release them now that you have released that you simply remove this cable from here oh you can actually just take the shifter out totally now that this is out this is the factory and this is how it goes the white is always on the left and then the black is on the right and this is kind of like how it goes the small upside is towards the back of the car the wider side is towards the front of the car and also the, the part with the label so i just want to place it here so i can just compare both now when you order the one from porsche this is literally how it comes and when you look at it there's a little different this one's a little shorter yep but this one it looks like actually this one goes this way because maybe the label always on the top and the white so this is how when i install it this is kind of how it's going to go this one this way so let's go ahead and mount everything i decided to put my rent motorsport on this side but the good thing is if it doesn't work this way i can always switch it to this side because to install it all you have to do is remove the side panel and that will expose the screws remove the screw and install it so it's fairly simple installation so i can always switch back and forth to kind of like see which area i like it so let me go ahead now and mount that and that one and show you the finished product this is how everything looks when you install so now if i want to go through gears Literally, this is neutral, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I love it. Yeah, man, it feels pretty short. Now, I just have to see how everything plays with, you know, when I put it in gears and I start driving. And my Red Motorsport, I uh, put it right here. And I think it's a little flimsy. I'm going to make a quick review shortly about this and uh, my phone. So man, um, thank you for watching and uh, this was just a simply installation of the 981 Shore Shifter on the Cayman and it looks dope. Thank you.